Welcome back to another episode of The Eminence in Shadow. So, the girls are still gone. Sid thinks that they've grown up, they've matured, they realize that it was all bullshit. And little do, does he know, no, they're still taking it super seriously. They're role-playing so fucking hard because the Cult of Diablos is a real thing. And this misunderstanding is gonna just be a, a nice little, little, little present that we're gonna get in the future. When they unexpectedly show up and just kind of, in a really hype and probably funny way. I'm not sure when it's gonna happen. Probably too soon in this arc. I don't know. I hope by the end of the season, at least we get to see them again. Because we do see in the episode one when he does his whole, oh, I'm the Eminence in Shadow. And you see the girls there too when he's grown up. So I think they'll be back. Mm, when? I have no idea. We are in a school setting. Tournament arc soon? Maybe we have a Bushido festival. But more importantly, what does Sid do? He tries to be background character right but he's not really he's still standing out so much well people are calling him gold digger now we have alexia so she has a bigger sister but the one time we saw her she had red hair who else has red hair sid's sister they both go to the same school coincidence probably wouldn't make sense for it's alexia's older sister but blood related or just figurative no i can't be i'm just probably leading, leading too much into it she's basically just overshadowed by her older sister and she's Pretty toxic. I said that I didn't like her, but that doesn't mean I hate her. And as you guys mentioned in the comments, it is a refreshing take on a girl in anime to just kind of show her true colors, as toxic as it may be. It is pretty refreshing just to see her talk her mind, but also when she shows her vulnerable sides just for a glimmer. And I'm sure she will again in the future. Maybe Sid can really break through this. I'm sure I'm gonna understand her a lot better. Or she's just gonna fuck off because she already did fuck off and points her sword at us and now they think that we kidnapped her, right? So I'm not sure how this is gonna end up. Probably some kind of epic misunderstanding that leads to some funny payoff. But tournament arc, give me my fucking tournament arc. Let's start the episode. She has been kidnapped, but by who? It wasn't Sid. Who? Cult of Diablos? No. Wait. That cell is busted open. Hello. You don't look too normal. Is this like a homunculi? What's going on? What? Wait, why is she flying in relief? What do you mean? Wait. Huh? This is has to be. This is called the Diabolus? Could it be? Right, she's taking this quite casually. Are you my kidnapper? Oh no no, she's a little scared, but for a second I was like... She's taking it pretty cool. Ugh, needles. Ugh. What's the real blood for? For the experimentation right beside you? Your blood is demon blood. Royal blood is demon blood? Resurrect a demon? Who's getting beat here? Sid? Oh, wow. This... Really? He's getting torched? Physical pain. Does he? He can put the armor. Might well, not be too suspicious, but where is Alexia? Cult of the Owls, I think. I can't they're actually torturing him this part. My God, he's still having fun. This is quite the performance he's putting up. No, I gotta be. Oh! Ah. Does it actually hurt him though? He wants to be a better background character than you guys, come on! The demon blood. Resurrected demon. She's still so awfully calm about this and kind of casually making jokes. Hmm. Is this all part of her plan? Like, no normal person would just be so calm like this. Usually they just scream like, oh, What's happening? Oh, thank you for telling you your plot. Hey, careful with the needle! Ah! Careful with the needle! She doesn't flinch at all. She's so giga chat right now. The sister? Which sister though? It's red hair. Alexia's sister? This is Alexia's sister, right? This is not Sid's sister. No, 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 no. Iris. What if Zenon is the one that kidnapped Alexia and sold her to the Cult of Diablos? No, I'm getting too conspiracy-like. Oh? You're believing him? Okay, okay. It's, I guess there goes my conspiracy theory. Oh, a voice. Claire. Claire. 
don't know. I have no clue who these people are. Also. Holy shit. Am I high as fuck? Did I really say his sister is, has red hair? Jesus Christ. Where did I get the assumption that his sister had red hair? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This guy sucks at feeding her and taking her blood. Hmm. The way that the porridge is just on her face like this. Oh, it's a little sus. Oh. Ooh, they're back. The girls are back. The girls are back already? Did Sid understand what just happened? Hello. Where have you been? A little training arc? Oh, even a hamburger. Thanks. Personal assistant Dewey. Meaning... What? He already was in contact? Jesus, this angle. Sid was already in contact with them? I thought he just thought they were all gone forever. Our organization's influence. What do you, what do you mean we're growing steadily? What have you guys done these past years? Uh, okay, so more misunderstanding. It's just a part of the game. Little does he know he's amassing a fucking army. Can't trust a night order. Being pretty close. So it was the cult, of course, that kidnapped them. But which one is specific? Like, who was it? Was it the train conductor? They gotta keep her alive. Why are you undressing? Us, huh? Okay, just, just folding the clothes, right? But the way that she's doing everything. Oh, just get on her knees and take the shoe. You know, this is quite the way to do a plot drop. Just, just fan service while explaining the plot. Oh, Alpha? No, this is Delta? Or is this Beta? I don't- I can't keep up. I've been waiting for you. At last, you've shown up. <laughs> wow, so enlightened. This, such a fancy decorated room. The time has come. <laughs> Facing the other way, of course! No, if only his, uh, drinking wine. He needs to have a Persian cat that he's pouring. And a petting and then he has to have a chair that like rotates and sees her you know like like in giovanni and pokemon even the evil dudes they all sit like this and then they slowly turn around all available personnel how many do we have 114 members only 114 come on that's way too much. <laughs> she thinks it's not enough but oh, we have 114 since when Opening sequence will be through him. But what does he think he's even doing? Hey, the Eminence and Shadow is coming into the public light, but... But he thinks that they're still playing a game. How... What is... I, we'll see. We'll see. What, what about our organization? You know? The issue that Diablo's cult is probably scary, but... I feel like our org is... Oh, no, it's just background character. Don't worry about it. I just boot immediately. Hey, that's not very background character if you to cast a boot like that. Again, again but what are you gonna do? Torch us again for five days and nothing? Huh? Bodies just drop. Wait, these are the people from the train, right? Are were they not the people from the train? But that was that was their look. Okay, well, I'm done to kill them. I'm done to kill them. Hmm? What a son. The sun is up. Oh, that was pretty cool the way his foot just showed up. Uh. Wait, what is she? What is she? Wait, is she documenting every move? Like she's just riding the light novel right now. <laughs> Damn, Alexi's looking so rough. What is this thing? I think it's a. Yeah. More blood drain time. They, but he's extracted so much blood already. So this is a defect demon. I don't know. It's taking Alexi's blood? Why? What's how gonna happen? This is Alexi's blood? Hey. I feel like this guy's gonna die first though. If you do this, do you think you're gonna be safe? Do you think you can control it? Yeah, you, you dumbass. You fucking 
You dumbass. That's the most cliche thing. Come on. Will it save Alexia? Come on, we were kind of nice to you, right? Free me. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I kind of got scared for a moment, but no, no, no. She couldn't admit Sid here. Who? Then on what? So it was my. So my guess was right in the beginning. Why is that on? The seemingly perfect guy. Well, he was way too perfect in the previous episode, right? I want to see what Zenon's true personality. Like, come on, show me like how you really talk. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. The 12th scene in the rounds? What's the rounds? The night's round? Is it like an exec council? A higher... The 12 highest ranking knights in the order. Knights of the round. I'm like thinking, is this beyond the... Uh, the Cult of Diablos? But no, okay. So, okay, the, the rounds do exist. Let's just keep in mind of that. But Zenon's just better than you. Also, you're weak. You're but you're... No. Sh she's so like... No food. Just tired. Taking so much blood. Uh, oh. Not bad. And... It's already over for her. But he won't kill her here. No, she probably still needs her blood. Jesus. She doesn't need to be like her sister. That's the thing about chasing siblings who seem to be perfect. You gotta be your own person. But here he comes. Here he comes. But what is the soundtrack? It's so epic. It's so over the top. You're hiding your face, right? Oh man, clad in the purest black. Oh, I save you. Yeah, he's kind of showing his face, but... Is this really enough to hide his identity? I guess they won't figure it out. Don't give me a cliffhanger. Come oh, fuck. That's another episode of The Eminence and Shadow. I wanted more from it, but... ah, We're, we're gonna get a pop-up episode next episode. But the unfortunate thing is... He will never get the credit ever. It's gonna be... Well, that's the whole point, right? Sid has to kind of stay in, in the shadows while the shadow, right, gets all the credit as the eminence of shadow. But our, our organize the girls are back already. Our organization is gaining an influence. How, how 114 members? What? We have an entire fucking army. This is getting ridiculous. And Zenon, I think, being the main person that kidnaps Alexia. It was probably too obvious. Like, he was way too kind of a person. I kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt when he kind of like sided with Sid when talking to Iris, but yeah, it, it's just it. The most interesting thing, thing that came out of this was, I guess, Royal Blood can somehow resurrect demons, but also the Rounds, another faction that I didn't know. It feels like, are all the knights corrupt? I don't know. It'd be cool if, because I'm thinking if we really handle the Cult of Diablos already, then what? Do we have some higher enemy group to face and the Rounds could be like that, but... Maybe not. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it, but a nice little setup episode for the pop-off next week. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.